bone hardening, natrum floor. Bone becomes very strong like stone. Stone. And that is natrum floor. You cannot miss out. And it's not calcarea floor. Calcarea floor is for destruction. Natrum floor is for hardening. And you'll come across many patients who will require natrum floor and not calcarea floor. Pain in old fracture. Now this you will not find anywhere. There are two remedies. One can be added is Eupatorium perfoliatum. Eupatorium perfoliatum works beautifully. Suppose if your patient has got a fracture which is paining. Every winter the fracture pain returns. Think of Eupatorium perfoliatum 30 potency to be given repeatedly. And other, another remedy which is very, very important is magmuriaticum. Fracture in old, old fracture, pain in old fracture, one of the most important remedy with amazing results. And here comes Eupatorium perfoliatum. Lot of cases who get pain in bones during malaria or otherwise. Suppose if the person is suffering from very severe flu, hay fever, and he has body ache, he has bones which are paining very severely, think of Eupatorium perfoliatum in next 24 hours, the pains will be better. Touch aggravates. Normally, Kali is the remedy where the pain gets relieved by pressure. Here is just the opposite. If it's pain in bones, even the touch increases the pain. That is Kali by. Rickets of curvature, a lot of children will come today because deficiency and here this patients if given the right homeopathic medicines it will help in absorption assimilation okay rickets with softening of bone you can see okay very clearly and hecla lava comes again here how does homeopathic medicine help in rickets? It works on minuscule supplement which corrects the deficiency. The small supplement of calcarea force, calcarea salt, calcarea floor helps as a supplement. It helps in absorption of the correct nutrition which you take along with the food. So in the food also if you take calcarea, calcium, it will help in absorption. It helps to assimilate the absorbed minerals at the correct place. And if there are substances which are working against the assimilation or absorption or retention of certain substances, it treats those negative aspects and improves the functioning of the human body. So our medicines have got action as a absorption, retention, assimilation and utilization. So all the four level homeopathic will be effective. This is very amazing. And again, calcarea force. So even if you don't know anything, close your eyes and give calcarea force. We have seen so many patients in our practice where sutures have healed, the bone sutures, the head, the different bones which are parietal and temporal and occipital bones, they get united. Again, they open out. And that is calcarea force. When you give calcarea force repeatedly, it works beautifully. And we come to the next aspect. Fontanelle open. It closes and reopens like suture. Again, calcarea floor, calcarea force and silica. If posterior fontanelle is open, it is calcarea force and silica. And reopening is calcarea force and silica. Sinking is macca. Sunken is apis and calcarea. So there are a lot of children who suffer 
from different conditions and different expressions. But if you find Fontanelle open, you give that indicated medicine, it becomes a keynote prescription and you'll be able to help many more patients. Give in lower potency, frequently the sutures of the Fontanelle which has been open will close down. Okay. So we'll be studying similar way, number of chapters, its usage, but mainly based on the time, I'll be focusing mainly, mainly, mainly on the clinical chapters. So we start with the clinical chapter. Friends, here we start with the most important chapter, which is not there in any repertory of the world. And if you focus on this, a lot of cases will be completed. We'll go logically and alphabetically. So first is the abscess. It is very important, you know, to understand what label the abscess is. Okay? And Remedies which can abort, abort, literally abort the abscess. So if it's developing, if you give this medicines, it can abort the process. Absorption of pus, second thing. See how practically it is. Depending on the stage at which the patient reports, you decide what is to be done. Okay, so here calcareous self and lachesis comes very high. You see the shift it will literally clean up the entire pathological process and give us healthy skin. How do we differentiate calcareous self? Calcareous self is hot patient, better by heat, while lachesis is hot patient, better by cold. I'll be giving you a practical tip, not only mentioning the remedies. So I'll not be just mentioning the remedies, I'll give you practically how do you differentiate the calcareous self is a hot patient, better by heat. While lachesis is a hot patient, better by cold. Hepar self is the patient which is chilly, better by heat. Then we go to the next. A beautiful case came to me with a huge abscess in anal canal, which was very painful. It was blind. There was no opening. The patient was in pain, crying loudly, shouting, breaking things. Such was the unbearable pain. He threw away many things, cups, phones, and just imagine the intensity was so severe. He was not able to tolerate the pain. The patient was prescribed lycopodium 1M every two hourly which helped the patient to recover completely. Amazing thing happened. Within three doses, the patient was suffering for five days. He came to me much later. He tried everything. Within six hours, the pain was gone. And there was a pus which came out, followed by natural healing. A complete recovery with the right medicine. Friends, this is all we want in homeopathy. And here you can see how beautifully abscess general suppuration blind. The only remedy is lycopodium. This is the beauty of Murphy. Friends, you must focus on such things to get a quality result. Okay? Elimination of foreign body. Foreign body, objects or injuries from, ailments from. So friends, if you understand, silica, a small piece, can give a feeling of sand. And based on doctrine of signature, it works beautifully in cases of fish, bone, thorn, glass, or anything which is stuck, silica helps to throw it out. 
depending upon the sensitivity, depending on the susceptibility of the patient, depending upon the intensity of the disease, you can think of giving in 30th potency or 1 potency or 200 potency. You can think of repeating the point frequently or you can just give few limited doses. So potency and the repetition will be decided by the patient, but you can give the highest range with silica.